hello welcome to everyone in this video this is the part 5 of the solution of mathematical methods that is cc8 of the year 2022 for in semester 4 you can see the total question paper of this year 2022 this is question number one which already discussed in part one and after that in part two we discuss the question number two and three and then question number four and five we discuss in part three then part four we discuss question number six and this is the part five where we want to discuss this question number seven and question number eight so if you want to watch the previous lecture there is a playlist for this uh, series of previous year solution of Calcutta University and others universities so you can go through the description box so let's start first question says a particle of mass m throw with a velocity u making an angle alpha with the x-axis this is the x-axis and this is y-axis any any particle makes an angle alpha with velocity u with this x-axis so finally you will be get these two component that is u cos alpha and this is u sin alpha the gravity acts downward the gravity is acted uh, downward here you can write down the gravity gravity that is the acceleration due to gravity g is the downward uh, consider the motion in xy plane taking this is xy plane first question say construct the lagrangian then find the equation of motion then find if there is any cyclic coordinate then construct hamiltonian and then finally prove that dh dt equals to zero okay so kinetic energy of the system you can say t equals to half m uh, velocity square velocity is the x dot square plus y dot square and the potential of the energy of the system is nothing but uh, mg h h is the uh, distance the height height is the y so this is the potential energy hence the lagrangian of the system is l equals to t minus v put this value of t and this is value of v you will be get obtain the expression of the lagrangian x dot is the velocity along the x axis y dot is the velocity along the y axis right and y is the height this this height is the y hence this is the lagrangian then you need to find out the equation of motion for that you need uh, you need to find del s del x dot del s del y dot actually there is two coordinate x and y that's why we need to equation of motion along x axis and the along y axis so del l del x dot is m x dot and del i del y dot is m y dot and del l del x equals to zero del l del y equals to minus m g The equation of motion using Lagrangian formula is like that, that is ddt of del l del x dot minus del l del x equals to 0. So you just put this value of del l del x dot as the m x dot and del x del y del l del x equals to 0. Suppose uh, take, take the derivative of this expression m is constant and x is x double dot which is 0. So after that if you use this expression in case of y y direction this is for x direction and this is for y direction will be obtained this way so these two are the equation of motion along the x direction and the y direction this is the along x direction and this equation along the y direction next uh, say for the cyclic coordinate you know for cyclic coordinate del l del q equals to 0 here del l del x equals to 0 you can see here the derivative that is del l del x equals to 0 hence you can say that x is the cyclic coordinate after that for Hamiltonian H find the generalized momentum that is Px equals to del L del X dot and Py equals to del L del Y dot that is M X dot and M Y dot. Hence the Hamiltonian can be written as uh, H equals to summation Pk Qk dot minus L that is Pk is the generalized momentum and Qk is the generalized coordinate. So if you just put this uh, value K uh, as X and Y because there is two coordinate X and Y so this is px x dot and py y dot minus l put this value of px and py px is uh, m x dot and py is m y dot so you will be obtained finally the hamiltonian expression after the uh, question using the uh, constant hamiltonian using this hamiltonian equation of motion so that this equation so hamiltonian we obtain and hamiltonian equation of motion you know q k dot equals to del h del p k and p k dot equals to minus del h del q k uh, del qk here there is two coordinates x and y so x dot equal to del x del h del px y dot equal to del h del py 
px dot equal to minus del h del x and py dot equal to minus del h del y. Okay, so h h is uh, already obtained in previous one. This is the Hamiltonian, and this Hamiltonian change into the momentum that is p p space. So uh, you just rewrite this one. You will be obtain the expression of Hamiltonian in this expression. And find the del h del uh, p x del h del p y del h del x del h del y, and put this value. You will be obtain this four expression. And this Hamiltonian is the function of generalized uh, um, uh, generalized coordinate, then generalized momentum and t. Del uh, d h d t is nothing but del h del q k q k dot del h del p k p k dot and del h del d. And just put this value of del h del q q k means uh, x and y. You just uh, put these two expression x and y and del h uh, del t is zero. For this, this two term and for that one, this two term along the x direction and y direction. And put this value we obtain in this four. Uh, put this value that is del h del x del h uh, del h del x is zero and del h del y is m g and y dot y dot is y dot. Y dot y dot is p y by m. Similarly, put this value. Finally, you will be obtain this expression d h by d t equals to zero. So I think you understand the solution of this question. If there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. Next question says find the Fourier uh, sign uh, transform of this equation. Fourier sign transform is root under two by pi zero to infinity f of x sine k x x x and k is the uh, complemented to each other uh, actually. So take this integration and just taking the by parts. A uh, sine is the derivative and this one in integration. Uh, taking the by parts, finally we obtain this i. Come back and finally integration value is like that. Since the Fourier transform sine will be like that. Okay. Using this, uh, using this result, you must show this integral will be like that. So that uh, Fourier transform into the minus x equal to like that. Hence the Fourier transform of this one. Will be this one. So I think there is a missing of root under two by pi. So you just uh, taking the constant in right hand side. So to the pi by two is right here. Or or or, or, or I think you, I need right in that way. That is this is root under two by pi. Okay. So hence the Fourier uh, since 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 the Fourier transform of it to the minus x equal to like that. So the Fourier transform of this one equals to it to the minus x. So taking this uh, integral form of Fourier transform, this is a constant uh, f of f of f of k. This is d k. So just uh, taking this to uh, two by pi and write down this one. Uh, since uh, just taking two pi by two n, and now we just replace the k by x and x by m. So k is replaced by x and x will be replaced by m. You will be obtain this expression. I think you understand. Next question: Find the Fourier transform of this equation. And this is the uh, Gaussian function. You know, taking the Fourier transform formula, one by root two pi minus into minus infinity f of x to the power i k x dx. Put the value of f of x here and just rearranging them. And you know this formula that is minus infinity plus infinity e to the power minus alpha x square minus beta x dx is equals to root under pi by alpha e to the power beta square by four alpha. If you know this integral formula, this will be very easy. Otherwise, uh, this will be complicated. Uh, just uh, taking the gamma function or etc. etc. Uh, I think you can uh, remember this formula, and this formula is very useful in case of this Fourier transform of the Gaussian function, right? So you just uh, compare these things. You can see this is alpha is nothing but one by sigma two sigma square, and beta is nothing but minus i uh, iota k. So just a uh, comparison. You just uh, written here in the alpha equals to one by two sigma square, and beta is nothing but beta is nothing but iota k. So you just putting this alpha and beta value in this integration. Just a uh, pi by alpha, pi by alpha. Alpha is one by two sigma square, and this is beta square. Beta square means iota k whole square by four alpha. Alpha means one by two sigma square. So you just uh, putting this uh, expression and calculating will be obtain this expression. And you can see there the Fourier transform of this Gaussian function. This is the Gaussian function. So Fourier transform of this Gaussian function. is also a gaussian function this is the important note which we will open in there so this is the answer of this question i think clear about this question you must comment in the comment box if there is any doubt in the question. 
so uh, with this question uh, we uh, completed this paper 2022 of cc8 in the upcoming video we will be continue the paper of which in 2023 of the cc8 and uh, then we continue to uh, cc9 and after the cc10 so stay connected this is all about me this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel details and so take care thank you we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you